Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a fantastic tool for anyone looking to set up their very own private cloud without the hassle, Casa OS. This beginner-friendly platform makes self-hosting a breeze. If you're tired of relying on external service providers and want complete control over your data, then stick around because Casa OS might be exactly what you need. So, what exactly is Casa OS? Well, think of it as your personal data center, a hub for hosting services, and a dashboard, all wrapped up in a super user-friendly web UI. Despite its name, Casa OS isn't an operating system in the traditional sense. It's more like a suite of tools that you install on top of your existing OS, similar to how Nextcloud works. Now, setting up Casa OS is incredibly simple, especially if you're running a Linux distro. All you need to do is open your terminal and type this command, curl fssl https get pseudo bash. That's it your server will be up and running in no time. And if you're on a distribution like Ubuntu 24.04, which doesn't support curl by default, you can use the Wuget alternative, Wuget, QO, HTTPS, get.caseos.io, pseudo bash. But what if you're on Windows? Don't worry, Casa OS has you covered too. You'll need to set up a virtual machine using VirtualBox or VMware Workstation Pro. Enable CPU virtualization in your BIOS, Create a virtual machine with the network option set to bridged adapter, and then install Casa OS inside the VM. It's a few extra steps, but still pretty straightforward. Once you've got Casa OS installed, the fun really begins. You can access the web UI from any device on your home network. Just enter the IP address of your server in your browser, log in, and you're greeted with the Casa OS dashboard. From here, you can install new services using the built-in app store. Whether you want to set up AdGuard, SyncThing, or simply use it as a personal cloud to store all your precious files, Casa OS makes it easy. I personally love using Casa OS for quick file transfers between my devices. It's super handy for those small files like screenshots or documents that I need to move around. And if you're someone who's interested in home lab services but gets overwhelmed by more complex setups like Proxmox, Casa OS is a great alternative. It's not as powerful as some bare metal solutions, but for beginners, it's a fantastic starting point. Now, if Casa OS doesn't quite fit your needs, there are some other options out there. For example, Nextcloud is a solid choice if you're looking for a private alternative to Google Drive, with more emphasis on file sharing than deploying containers. Or, if you're more into the self-hosting aspect, you might want to check out Cosmos Cloud. Each of these has its own strengths, so it really comes down to what you're looking for. So, is Casa OS worth trying? Absolutely. It's perfect for newcomers to the personal cloud space who want a hassle-free way to manage their data and host services. Plus, it's a great learning tool for anyone interested in virtualization and self-hosting. But if performance is a top priority for you, consider upgrading to a bare metal solution like Proxmox down the line. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to your channel name for more tech tutorials and reviews. Have any questions about Casa OS? Drop them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.